Over the past eight years, Rick and Morty has been one of the most popular TV shows on the planet. And in these past few days, the fifth season concluded, meaning it is time to update my Rick and Morty ranking, which is going to be a lot different from that previous video I did, which is one of my most viewed videos, but it is quite rubbish. So anyways, let's get to the ranking. Easily coming in at fifth and last place is season five. This of course being the newly released season. This show's always been known for pushing the boundaries with its humor. It's always taking it to new length. It's never going over that mark until now where an, a specific episode goes way too far and delivers one of the worst episodes we have seen in this show overall. And this season being this low isn't just down to being that. It is riddled with a lot of inconsistencies which is quite rare in this show. Like for me personally, this season contains some of the worst episodes in this show as a whole. It tries to fit in too many references or make a whole episode around a certain aspect which just doesn't work. It became really frustrating and dull to watch because all these episodes happen after each other. So this season starts very strong and ends very strong, but there's a middle portion where we get some of the worst episodes of the entire series. However, like most seasons, it executes a fantastic finale, which is one of the best episodes in the series, but that doesn't make up for some of the worst things we've seen in Rick and Morty. Coming in at fourth place is season four. Season four is a huge upgrade on season five, but it is a slight dip in form compared to what is yet to come in this ranking. Don't get me wrong, it is still a great season as you can see by the rating. It is extremely entertaining and it has episodes which will become iconic if they haven't already, like the Vat of Acid episode. We get to see an unfamiliar side to Rick where it delves deeper into him thinking he is a bad father, which tackles a different tone in some aspects which the viewer follows and pays close attention to taking it away from that comedic side. And just like most seasons, it sticks the landing with its finale, with that being one of the best of the season. Where it is second to last on this list is just down to the fact that some of the aspects aren't as entertaining or episodes aren't as great. So it's hasn't done anything too wrong. It's just maybe isn't up to the standards of the other seasons before. Coming in at third place is season one. It's safe to say Rick and Morty is one of the wackiest shows still running to date. And in its first season, Rick and Morty certainly knows what it's going for from the off. Such a bizarre thing. First episode wasn't the best in the whole show, so it took some time to adjust. But then by the end of the season, I absolutely loved this show and this season. You couldn't have asked for a much better introductionary season to the show, which was only going to get better. With the mixture of references, the unique plot lines, the dumb but actually smart storylines as well. Every character's appearance, whether main or side, is thoroughly enjoyable and amusing to see on screen, even if they don't do anything or are useless like Jerry. This first season and may not fully go for it with its arc humor which is understandable as it would be quite risky to do so in your first season but it still leaves a lot of space to grow with that humor and the show overall which of course it does but nonetheless it is still a fantastic season especially for its first season Coming in at second place is season two. After such a successful first season, Rick and Morty takes what was great about the first season and takes it to new heights with complex episodes, storylines, unique ideas, backstory for certain characters, still maintaining that fast pace and consistency that you expect of the show. Ideas introduced in its first season are expanded upon in this season to make it better than its predecessor. Everything that was already great is improved upon somehow and just so much more amusing. The humor is darker, which some, me included, prefer. So overall, this is just a fantastic season on top of what was already a fantastic start. It's an example of what you're meant to do after a very successful first season. You're meant to take what was great, improve upon it, and make for a better season. But coming in at first place is season three. For me, when someone says Prime, Rick and Morty, I instantly think to the events that happen in this season. Just the fact that it contains some of the most iconic moments and episodes instantly propel this to new heights above the rest. Those episodes and moments being, of course, Pickle Rick, the episode with all the different Mortys and a fantastic opening episode. This could be perhaps one of the darkest in terms of humor where it actually is funny as opposed to the recent season. It's at the stage where it's still amusing rather than disturbing or offensive. As I mentioned, the show's in its prime and so are the characters, to the point where you can take a side character and make the whole episode about them without Rick and Morty 
and it still holds up to the consistency of the other episodes. That's when you know we're dealing with consistency all throughout the season. The only bad thing I have to say about season three is that it may slightly disappoint with its finale, especially compared to other seasons, but nonetheless, it's still a very amusing watch. Still one of the best seasons of television out there. So that concludes my updated ranking of the Rick and Morty seasons. I did do this video last year when my channel was first starting, but it's quite a bad video, so I don't recommend you watch it. A video that you should watch if you have a spare half an hour of your time is my MCU ranking, which is my previous video. I'll leave a clickable card up in the corner here. So just think of it as like an episode of Rick and Morty. It's only half an hour long, so go tune into that. But anyways, make sure to leave your ranking down below. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video.